Hey there. This is a little CRT television that's been modified to act a bit like a crude oscilloscope. Uh, it takes two channels of audio, each with adjustable amplification, and sends them to the deflection yoke of the television. So rather than this beam of electrons being used to build an image on screen, we're using it to display waveforms so we can get some nice audio reactivity and even start building some interesting shapes with sound. Uh, the other thing that I've added here is the ability to send that amplified audio to the TV's internal speaker. So there's no need to split the audio off to another speaker if you want to both listen to and watch music off of something like a phone. So it's got one signal coming in on the left channel, which I'm currently sending to the horizontal deflection. And if I were to cut my mic out here and start pulling up the volume on a sine wave in the left channel, we'll see it grow on the x-axis and likewise on the y-axis. Now this isn't a replacement for an oscilloscope by any means, but there are a lot of really interesting things that we can do. So first let's kind of play around with some other waveforms here. So the next thing that I want to demonstrate is how we might think about giving these waveforms some color and really dialing in some more unique looks. There are tons of videos out there from others who've made similar builds with old TVs, but I haven't actually come across anybody exploring the use of a video source in conjunction with the waveforms being displayed. So I'm going to pull this up. Uh, this is the image that I'm currently sending to the TV. So we can still send a video signal to the TV, we just have to think a little differently about how it's being processed. So we've just got this plain white here. If I were to change that, some other colors. We're obviously seeing that our little waveform is changing colors as well. But what exactly is happening? So let me change that over to a gradient here. This is a little simple vertical ramp going from blue to red. And now we're seeing that our line is going from blue on one end to red on the other. So without getting too deep into it, the basic thing to understand here is that the way a CRT would normally display this incoming video signal is that it would rebuild it pixel by pixel, scanning across the entire screen starting at the very top left and moving left to right, line by line, all the way until it reaches the very bottom right. And then it continuously repeats this process. But in this case, that scanning process is no longer happening across the entirety of the screen, it's all contained within this waveform here. So with that in mind, it would make sense that if we move along this line, we think about scanning this incoming image from the top left to the bottom right. Uh, starting here, this would be the top left of our image. And we move to the bottom right and it slowly becomes red. So how else can we visualize what it is that's going on here? Well, if I stick this horizontal green line here in the center, then we have a green bit here in the uh, center of our waveform. If I were to make that green line start scanning, then we're now going from one end of that line to the other. If we want to put three different bands of color, then we now have red near the top, green in the middle, and blue near the end of our waveform here. We can make those start moving along the waveform. Let me actually change the shape here just so we can see it a little bit better. So here's that green line moving along a, a slightly more complex waveform here. So what exactly is happening here with these vertical lines? Well, if we were to scan through the incoming video signal line by line, going left to right, then we'd be repeatedly hitting these little sections of blue, then green, then red, over and over on every line. So we're getting these little dotted groups of color over and over in our waveform. 
And what it looks like this ends up showing us is that each group of three colors here represents what would normally be a single scan line on the television, where the incoming image being built out on the entire screen. Now one thing that's nice about this particular TV that I've got here is that we have a focus control so we can adjust that in the back and kind of blur out the projection of that light. And one other thing we can do here is adjust the brightness on the TV. And if I turn that down, then rather than getting that white um, in all of the black sections, we can stop projecting light when the image is black. So now we've got a much more pronounced bit of color here. So now I'm just going to roll through a few different looks that I put together to uh, see what we can do with color on this waveform. So here are some uh, vertical lines scrolling along. So we can see that we've got some movement in those dots. There's just some colored noise. There's some more colored noise just with a uh, lower exponent. Adjust the brightness here. This one I really like. This is just a uh, gradient of horizontal white lines. So we get a little darker with each line in our waveform as it moves around. some horizontal lines that are slightly askew, just moving downward to add a little bit of color. Here's a moving color ramp, but I'm also bringing in and out the opacity on the top half and the bottom half so we can kind of alternate between showing the front and the back of the waveform. Increase the speed. So now I'm going to play a little arrangement that was done using uh, simple audio waveforms at different frequencies and uh, sending some different images to the TV.
So, thanks for checking this out. I'm certainly not the first person to do this sort of CRT modification. I actually came across this idea a number of years ago when I made my first one and just thought I'd give it another go. A web search for Wobblevision or CRT TV oscilloscope and the like will bring up some different information and guides. And I know there are some people on YouTube who've done some informational videos on this sort of thing. Including Sam of Look Mom No Computer! So go check him out! <clears throat> uh, I'll also uh, put up a simple schematic for this particular build on my website, glikes.net. But like anybody will tell you, do not try this at home, especially if you don't have prior experience in electronics. Danger, danger, danger. Things inside of a CRT television can kill you, and it's extremely dangerous to fool with them. Danger, danger, danger. Unless you've done your research and are taking proper safety precautions first. Unbelievable. So again, that's glikes.net. You can find me at glikes on Instagram as well. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you with the next one.